Okay, hey all, this is part two of calculating the uh, Playcade ARPU, average revenue per user. And uh, now we're moving on to uh, part two. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm sorry I look so tired. My God, I've just seen the video that I made a moment ago and I've got these huge lines under my eyes. I, I don't usually look this tired, I think, because the past few days I've been really, really, really busy. Uh, it's also light as well from the computer, so that's my excuse. And <laughs> so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit like slow and down. It's just, I, I feel fine. It's just I'm a little bit tired. So anyway, let's move on to the Amazon uh, calculation now since we just looked at the iOS one. Uh, so with the Amazon version of Playcade, we're using Chart Boost as well. And we're also using Amazon Ads. So we're going to do the same thing as before and uh, uh, calculate how much revenue we made in each month and then divide that by the number of users to get our average revenue per user. So let's uh, let's start on uh, this one first. Actually, we'll start on Chart Boost first since it's... Uh, the first one in line. Uh, so the total revenue we made in uh, October was 1181. So there you go, 1181. So let's plug this into uh, our calculator. So 11.81 plus, and then October revenue for Amazon ads for Playcade, the total was uh, $6.30, okay? So plus 6.3. Enter equals 18.11. See how many installs we got, 18.11. So 559, all installs, uh, divided by 559 equals 0 0.03. So we made three cents our ARPU in October. So equals uh, 0 0.03. By the way, guys, please let me know if I'm doing this wrong. I don't think I am doing this wrong, but if anybody notices is anything that I'm doing wrong uh, or, or perhaps like I need to change or I need to consider, please let me know. Uh, FYI as well, this revenue only includes ad revenue. At the moment, Playcade does not have in-app purchases in the game. What I expect to see when we do include in-app purchases is an increase in ARPU again. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully that's, that's the way it will go. So let's look at November now. So again, uh, we're in chart boost. So we had more installs there, 2,700, that's good. Uh, so uh, we made $105.61. So let's plug this in here. 105.61 plus and da, da, da. our November Amazon ads revenue. I'll just check the date there. Yeah, it's, um, it's November. 71.82 total earnings. Okay, so plus 71.82 equals 177.43. And the total number of installs in November was 2796. Okay, so divide this by 2796 equals 0 0.06, so six cents. So, great, so we doubled that there, 0 0.06. Uh, actually on Amazon, guys, FYI, uh, Amazon has far more installs, uh, around 100 a day installs on Amazon. So this data is much more accurate. There's more general statistics to go off, whereas the iOS version has only like 10 installs a day. Now, right now, I'm not too concerned about the number of installs. Obviously, I would like it if we get more installs because that means more revenue. Uh, but for this game, it is a long-term commitment for us to build a game that is very cool, that people love, that has an increasing ARPU. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so next one, let's take a look. So we've got this month, December, which only has 11 days so far, uh, but it has 1,000 installs, so that's a pretty good data so far. And it's made 41.77 so far. So 41.77 plus, and the Amazon ads data, we're in December, yes. And the total number, I'll just scroll down, make sure I've only got one game, yes, is 25.09, okay? So plus 25, sorry guys, I'm looking, trying to look at the screen here. 25.09 equals 66.86. So I don't know if this is gonna be low or not. Uh, the total number of stalls is uh, 10, uh, 1,068, so 1,068. Uh, okay, so divided by 
So 0 0.062, so 0 0.06. And okay, so 0 0.06. Okay, so so far, yeah, so we've got three cents, six cents, six cents. So this has not been a major increase um, uh, so far from November to December. I think the reason that we got a better increase in uh, on iOS is because the updates on iOS have not been as frequent as Amazon. So in December, we, re we released a, a, uh, the version which had 10 games. But it took us a few weeks to get that in there because iOS always takes longer to to uh, to get things approved and you know for it to go live. But this is definitely a good picture. You know that we've gone from one cents to sixteen to twenty two. It's a little bit more of a broader range of data, I think, because of the uh, less frequent updates. Uh, but this one as well, anyway. This is three cents jump into six. Uh, hopefully December will increase as well. But that paints a pretty good picture so far, especially this one here, guys, on iOS. Uh, obviously, the uh, ad revenue, it depends on the advertisers. So it could be that um, it, it could be the case that perhaps users are not playing the game as much. Uh, it could be depending on, on um, how can we say, on advertiser revenue. Uh, but I, in this case, I don't think advertiser revenue really increases that much. Um before Christmas and November time. I think advertiser revenue increases uh, sort of on Christmas week and then January because everybody's got all their new devices and that's when the uh, advertisers want to pump in a lot of money uh, into ads. But, you know, definitely I think so far, uh, I think this is what we were going for. Um, you know, I've sort of just made a couple of notes down here uh, and I'll read them off. So our goal was in... Uh, our goal is to increase the ARPU, the average revenue per user, and is it working? So yeah, it looks like it's working. Uh, Playcade is many games in one single game. And uh, so the goal is with that was to keep the user retention longer, keep them playing the game, keep them giving, keep giving them more interesting content, uh, unlocking new games, playing for co uh, Cade coins is what we call them, uh, the currency inside the game, and uh, just give them a cool gaming experience. And it shows that with the ARPU increasing, obviously we, we need more data, we need more time to see if that trend is gonna increase or not. And we also need to uh, put in app purchases in the game as well. So uh, I'll just go to the next point. Uh, overall as well, I didn't include the, uh, the Google Play uh, revenue data here because at the moment Google Play has such low downloads only between one to five a day uh, that it's not gonna really be accurate data. Uh, also, the fact that generally I and our developer also test using the Google Play version, uh, that means that the number of clicks perhaps or the number of installs is going to be a little bit skewed based on the fact that we also um, uh, install using the Google Play version uh, and test from it. But I wanted to show this here. Even though we've had such low downloads, this is the Google Play uh, page, statistics page, uh, we're seeing an increase in overall installs, okay, which is great to see. So if I click on the daily installs, okay, you can see how poorly we're getting downloads at the moment, which is very, very poor. And I'm a little surprised why. We're just not getting any love from Google Play at the moment. Uh, and I'm sorry about this. I have to deal with this all the time. I have no idea why. It breaks my heart every day seeing this slot. I just want to view the Google Play statistics and I'm just watch this is what I do I watch this for two minutes like per page load ah oh, flipping it let me go on to my next point while that's doing its thing oh it just loaded okay 20 minutes later anyway as you can see here um you know this number here is nine seven uh, and then five so you can see we're not getting a lot of downloads at all there's nine four two four six uh, one, three, nine, three, okay. So you can see it's really up and down here. So generally you'd see an up and down uh, more in these total installs, but we're seeing an overall increase, which probably means that users are enjoying the game and they're keeping the game on the device. So that's a, that's a very cool thing to see, definitely, uh, even though the downloads are not very big. So uh, let me just check my... Next point. Um, so yeah, great work from our developer as well. You know, thank you so much for working uh, working on this with us. It's uh, it's been a a new experience for us to build bigger games now, but I think it's definitely the right move. 
but also continuing to make the smaller games as well uh, because obviously that, that generates more cash flow for us and that's important uh, because right now Playcade is not making a lot of money. Uh, it's a long-term game, as I've said. Uh, the What we're doing right now, guys, as well, is, is this week I spoke with our developer and we basically want to get more levels into the games. So as I've mentioned on the forum a couple of times, um, uh, games where you're just going for the highest score are, are naff, basically. The, the, they don't hold the player retention, in my opinion. Uh, sorry, they don't hold the player's attention, in my opinion. And players don't have a goal because they don't have a goal to go for. Uh, just getting a higher score is not, you know, this isn't the 1980s arcade anymore. Um, so that's really not a good way to make a game. In my opinion, you've got to make a game with multiple levels that are very easy to get into initially. Um, you know, uh, very easy for anybody to play, very re rewarding, very uh, simple, very easy for, the, for, you know, the first 20 minutes of gameplay and then gradually increase that um that difficulty curve okay so what we're doing now is we've for our basketball shooter game inside playcade that's one of the games we've started to add more levels to it so it's got level one uh you know when you complete it it'll say congratulations and then play uh, next level and then you get next level so it's got all of those icons with like level one two three four and then the lock icon on top and that's a that's much better path for the player than just saying oh get the highest score possible uh, Playcade does have a bit of a path already because obviously you've got all of the games listed and you can unlock the games uh, as well. But it's much better to have that like long-term uh, uh, path with levels, in my opinion. So we'll see how this goes anyway. Um, eventually, like I said before as well, the goal of building up the ARPU for Playcade is that um, obviously, one, the game makes more overall revenue per user but it means at some point that we can do paid advertising for the game as well. So generally, uh, an install might cost around 50 cents at the moment, depending on the game. Uh, if you do CPC campaigns, that's cost per click campaigns, you might be able to get a an install for roughly um, 10 to 20 cents, depending on the network, uh, maybe 30 cents. But Chart Boost, the minimum install bid is 50 cents at the moment. Uh, so our goal is to sort of reach over 50 cents ARPU and then we can start to get hopefully some serious installs um, by doing paid advertising. So this, we're looking like we're going in the right direction here. So this is this is great to see. This is the first time I've calculated the ARPU uh, for one of our games um, in a sort of month to month basis, uh, you know, in a progression basis. Uh, so that's very cool feedback for us as well. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as I've mentioned, I'm not replying to comments on YouTube anymore, so please come and see me on howtomakemobilegames.com. You can find me under the Martins video and blog section at the top. Uh, I post all the videos on there, and I generally answer... Uh, I'm generally a lot more active on the forum, and I answer questions and, and read all the comments. Um, but, you know, please like and subscribe this video, guys. Please tap those buttons. helps me a lot. Uh, again, my apologies for the quality and looking like this whilst I'm doing videos. Uh, hopefully one day I'll find a nice, convenient way to do high-quality uh, videos for you guys. Uh, but anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend, and I will speak to you all very soon, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.